everyone, welcome back. This is Joshua from Mock Motion. Um, today we have this little speeder, or not speeder, like little troop transport. It's got some droids on already. Um, this is custom, not totally custom, but we did some really nice detailing with the little cockpit, I guess you could say. Uh, he is off screen. You, you, uh, you can say hello. Hello. Uh, that's him. Um, the only thing cool. that I 100% changed on this was the top part because I thought it would just look better if I just like him. Personally, it does look better. I don't know. I think it looks cool. And it didn't have a control panel before, so now you can pretend that your droid is like actually driving the vehicle. We have a depressed droid. So he doesn't want to <laughs> angle his head up. But, um, yeah. Troop transport. Relatively custom made by my brother Isaiah. He's the person on the channel. He makes, makes all the, um... Mox. The mocks. I do the stop motions. Um, yeah. Just a little close up quickly. The front. You can see the back right now. That's probably a bad idea that I did this. But it's fine. The back. Underside. Okay, that came off. I'm just gonna get right into the build. So, yikes. See you then. Oh, this is also broken. Oh, uh, let's get right into the build. Mm. All right, so today we have a very big build, very complicated. I've already put some things together, so I'm just gonna pull this out and let you guys see. <clears throat> so you guys just know. All right, let me put you down on my little Lego stand. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna grab both of these, which I'm gonna put them like this in front of the screen. And then I'll give you guys some time to put it together. All right, that should be enough. All right, so you're gonna grab, you're gonna pull this a little bit closer. You can grab both of these, these little like slope pieces. <clears throat> and then you're gonna put them on and then you're gonna grab your other slopes, which I should probably bring up the camera for. It's gonna look like that. <clears throat> Put this back down. And then you're going to grab your swivel piece. I'm not sure the correct name for that. Put that right there. Then you're going to grab, if I can find it, I always lose pieces. This, I'm gonna put it right here on the front. Bam. And then you're gonna grab this piece, the slope, and you're gonna put it on the front like this. this sorry. And next, you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna grab, preferably, um, you can change this up, a one by six plate. Uh, for some reason right here, I only have a one by four and a one by two. But, I'll pull this out, sorry about that. As you can see, uh, one by six plate. And then you're going to grab all of these. I'm not sure what the name is for these. You're gonna put one right here. This can be either see-through or not see-through. It depends on what you wanna do. And then flip it around to the front. Put one right there, put one right there. And then go to the back and go on right there. Perfect. Then you're gonna go back and just look at it for a quick second. If this is what yours looks like, you have followed the instructions perfectly. Then you're gonna grab this piece. I've already put these in, so just throw those on quickly. Just pause the video quickly, put those in with this. If you do not have this, I'm sorry you cannot build it because that is vital for the guns, which I'm actually going to show you how to build before we make the full command center type thing. You're going to grab both of these, two of these for both sides, place them down quickly. You're going to grab, if I can find it, both of these. You're going to throw one on like this. And then you're gonna throw the other on like this. Bam. Very simple. 
and then <clears throat> I've already put this together, just like the last review I did, just for the sake of time. It's got a one by two plate on the bottom, and then multiple of these slopes. <clears throat> I do know there's a two by two version of these slopes, and you can use that all you want. That's just what I have for this build right now. Sorry, my hand's right up with the camera. And then you're gonna do that. And then you should have two that look, uh, two little similar pieces that look like this, but are opposite to each other, so then they go on both sides. You're gonna grab both of your cylinder, like, cone pieces, that's the name. I'm gonna put them on like that, for both sides, on the bottom. Just like that. And you're gonna grab your little, um, I'm not sure what these pieces would be called. They're like a lightsaber piece. Sorry about the background noise, by the way. Put it right there on both sides. Funny, because now we use these lightsaber hilts. You're gonna put the back side on, facing that way, like this. And bam! The guns. And then you're gonna grab this piece right here. And just attach them like so. I can get the other one on. Bam. You're not gonna put this on yet because we have to do some stuff to the actual turret. So you can use any brick you'd like, but currently we're just using three of these. So attach actually no first so the drawer can stand. You're gonna put two of these jumpers on. At the bottom you could do black if you want just like to hide the bottom depends on what you want to do you'll grab all three of these bricks of your bricks whichever one you want to use and then you'll put them on like so and then you're gonna grab your final brick I'm gonna put it right here on the front BAM you got that so this is what it should look like if you followed the instructions, or my instructions, sorry. <clears throat> Next, you're going to grab all four of your little pieces with the holes inside. I'm not sure entirely what you call these. You're gonna put them on the side, <clears throat> facing outwards. Sorry, I hit the camera. Just like so. And then you're gonna grab two of your one by two tiles. I'm gonna put them right on the side, just like that. If I can get this one on. Bam. And then you're going to grab the rest of your pieces with like the holes inside. Again, I'm not sure what you call these. I, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what you call them. You put them on the front and the back, facing outward, like so. And then you're gonna grab your cheese slopes and then you're gonna put them on the sides like this. As you can see. I can just get that, get that on. Same on the front. Oh gosh. Just like so. There. That's what it should look like. If there's anything wrong, pause the video quickly and fix it. All right, then you're gonna grab your one by two cheese slopes. <clears throat> You're gonna put them all around, facing towards the middle. Oh gosh, I did not mean to drop that on the inside. And then you're gonna grab your printed one. You can use printed if you want. I just use this because it looks like a control panel. And you're gonna put it like that. And that's what it should look like. And then you're gonna come back to your part, your speeder part, and you're just gonna throw it on like so. And then I'm gonna grab some battle droids quickly and film on like a pilot. In a second, let me grab them <clears throat> just as an example to show you what it looks like. I do not have any guns for these droids because I couldn't grab any. Just like throw them on. I'm not gonna put any guns on. Bam. This is basically what it would look like. <clears throat> them all on. Oh gosh. 
It can't power down though, because they take up too much space, but that's what they look like. And, oh gosh, I broke it, no. Yeah, this is the droid little transport thing. I can get it to stay on. Um, <clears throat> we will probably have another one like this coming up soon. As you can see, it's got the blue accents. And yeah, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, please leave. Uh, you can feel free, to feel free to dislike. If you didn't like it, just leave um, a recommendation or something in the in the description or sorry in the comments below. And um, if you did like the video, uh, throw down in a, co a comment. Uh, saying what you want next. So, um, yeah. Have a good day.